It's wonderful that the House deals with anti-Semitism. It's wonderful that the House condemns anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism should be condemned. But the context is very suspicious and very troubling. Let me be very frank with you, Amy. We have to say the truth. The Israeli lobby, the Jewish lobby, are by far too strong and too aggressive. It's not good for the Jewish community. It's not good for Israel. What is happening now is that some kind of fresh air, some kind of new voices are emerging from Capitol Hill, raising legitimate questions about Israel, about America's foreign policy toward Israel, and about the Israeli lobby in the States. Those are very legitimate questions, and it is more than needed to raise them. But the Israeli propaganda and the Jewish propaganda in recent years made it as a systematic method. Whenever anybody dares to raise questions or to criticize Israel, he is immediately and automatically labeled as anti-Semite, and then he has to shut his mouth, because after this, what can he say? This vicious circle should be broken, and I really hope that great, great politicians like Mrs. Omar and others will be courageous enough to stand in front of those accusations and to say, yes, it is legitimate to criticize Israel. Yes, it is legitimate to raise questions, and this does not mean that we are anti-Semites. We are not ready to play this game anymore, in which they shut our mouths with those accusations, which in most of the cases are hollow.